Okay, so in our last video we got to this point where we had this main page of our documentation website up and this is just a file, it's not actually hosted anywhere yet. The, the, I'm going to close this out. The first thing I want to do here is we have new files. So we want to do get status and see what these new files are. And we have this Sphinx folder which has all these files in it. Now let's take a look at this real quick. Um, we don't want to include this build file because it's going to change all the time. We'll include this just not under this directory. This conf.py is the configuration for Sphinx. Index to RST is the restructured text document from which Sphinx builds the HTML files. And these are the batch files for, for building the HTML. So what I want to include, I don't want to include this build directory. We're going to include uh, the things from this HTML directory in another folder so GitHub automatically builds the website. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add this directory to my gitignore. So Sphinx build dot gitignore. So let's hit that. Let's go get status. Okay. And let's do git add and we'll add everything and we'll see what we get here. We get status again and you can see that we don't have any of those things under build added which is the way we want it to be. Okay so then I'm going to push this up. We'll commit all message um, and we'll say Sphinx configuration and then we'll get push origin master. Okay. Oh, I did the, the wrong GitHub name. Okay. And okay, well, I did something. Let's see here. Pull the changes down. So then behind the remote branch. Okay. Now let's push these. And now we've done that. Let's just double check our repository. We'll refresh this. Okay, now we have our Sphinx folder in there. Sorry, I made a couple small changes and I forgot to push those up. And um, so we, we had a little bit of a problem there, but we're set to go now. Okay. So now we have those changes in the repository. What I want to do next is let's take a look. I'm in PyCharm again. Let's take a look at this index.r. Let's take a look at comp.py really quick. So these are this is the configuration file for uh, for Sphinx to build this documentation. So we have these extensions, Sphinx Autodoc, that allows us to auto document the code. Um, there's a templates path using RST. This is all the stuff we specified when we ran that command line program. And you can come in and change these things. Um, so here we can change our, our HTML theme and that'll change the way the website looks. I'm going to keep it the way it is for now, but you can change it there. Uh, and there are other configuration things there. So this extension, you can add other extensions if you would like. We're not going to go into that now. So let's put this index to RST. Um, now we have this table of contents tree. Uh, Max step two, it'll show level two headings. You can see here we have our welcome to Sphinx documentation, website examples, documentation. This is kind of redundant, so let's get rid of this 
uh, and let's get rid of that, okay? And then we have this caption context. We can include what to add down here. So if I add, what I'm going to add is I'm going to add uh, let's add a code. So it's going to put code in my table of contents. What I need to do here is add a new uh, a new file called code. So let's do new file. Let's do code.rst. Uh, we'll not add that right now. And this is what we want to do is we're going to name this code documentation. And we'll put this under it to give it a level one heading. And then if we come down here, we're going to do this. We're going to go dot dot auto module. And we're going to give it the name of our Python file. Okay. And this is how we're going to auto document our code. And we need to come down here and we need to do this. We need to give it members. And so this will document the functions. Okay. So let's give this a try and see if, if we get this to happen uh, with our website. We're going to come back to the command line. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type make clean. This will clean the build uh, so we don't have any more problems with it. Delete the current HTML so we can build some fresh HTML. Okay. We'll wait for this to go. Okay, there we go. Now we can go make HTML. I'm just making the output directory. Okay, we have an error in here. Okay, and so we haven't We have a couple of, of errors here. It says no module named example one, so it's not finding our our uh, Python code there, and it's not finding uh, our code .rst. So um, I know why we're having one of these problems. So let's go back to our comp.py, and this is the reason it's not finding that example. And if I can find where this is, let me check. Uh, there's a, a line here we need to uncomment. Okay, here we go. We're going to uncomment these lines here. And this is the, the path to the modules document. And so if we put a dot dot slash, that'll take it up one directory, and that should uh, it should take us out of the Sphinx directory where the, the documentation is into the directory with, with the correct Python scripts. Now let's look at our index.rst, caption, contents, next step two. Um, Maybe this needs to be, let's put this here. That should give our code.rst, code.rst, code documentation. Okay, let's try to build this now. So come down to the end here. Let's go back to make clean. And make HTML. Let's see if we get these errors again.
Okay, it's the caption. Let me try one thing here. Usually this caption uh, is not there. We have the code.rst, so I'm not sure why it's not recognizing that. Um, let me try this one more time, and if it doesn't work, I'll pause and get it figured out for you. we go cleaning it again clean clean here we go make HTML okay Looks like, oh. oh, we're down here. So many of these, I can't tell where I'm at. So making the output directory. Okay, let me just figure out exactly what I'm doing wrong here and then we can Okay, sorry about that. Um, my biggest problem was the indentation. The, the code doesn't need to be indented beyond it needs to be lined up with these colons over here on the end. Okay, so I think we've got that figured out. Uh, let's run this again. Make clean. Here it goes. Uh, Make HTML. And let's see, this should hopefully give us the right answer this time. Sorry about that. Let's deal with live coding this sometimes is user error by me. Um, and let's just check how this work looks. We've got build HTML. And then we want index.html. Open this up. Okay, there we go. So we have our code documentation listed here in the table of contents now. And let's click that. And you can see here that we have our examples documented, our example functions um, with, our param with our parameters. It looks like I forgot to, to hit an enter in there somewhere or carriage return, so we don't have that set up. Let's go back. Uh, we can go back and take care of that real quick in PyCharm. Go into example one, return arg one, return none. Okay, sometimes this uh, can be a little temperamental with the carriage returns, whatever the case. Uh, we have code RST set up there. Okay, so we can we can go back and let's push all of this up now. So let's do a get status and we'll check our status. And you can see we've modified some files and we have uh, a couple of files to add. I don't need to add the PYC files, that's just a compiled Python file. So once again, I'm going to uh, add something to my git ignore. And I want to ignore all PYC files. And we'll push that to dot git ignore. And if we go get status. Now we can see that, that PYC file is removed, so we can do git add, and then git commit am um, page for code documentation. Okay, and git push origin master. Okay, and everything's pushed up successfully. Sorry this video is a little longer. Um, what I'll do is uh, we'll stop it here and the next one will show how we can document this all on GitHub. Thanks for watching.